Now that I've become a Super Saiyan, no one can best me. Well, let's do this! <laughs> Got a gun! Got a gun! <laughs> I've used up a lot of my power. If you want to take me down, now's your chance. Come at me. Your power may have exceeded my initial calculations, but it's still not enough to defeat us androids. <laughs> You're not going anywhere! I'm going too. I want to see the end of the androids with my own eyes. Yeah, count me in too. Me too. Fine. But don't get pulled into the fight. He's more than you guys can handle. He's trying to lose us among the rocks. If you find him, let everyone else know, okay? Amplify Android Terror. Damn. I hate to say it, but we might have lost him. calling your comrades now your energy will be all mine 
Go on. Androids, get over here. Uh, uh, Mr. Piccolo! Over there! <laughs> You're as good as dead. How did they find me? Thanks, Gohan. Krillin, give Piccolo a Senzu bean! Uh, okay. And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? In your energy. I will eliminate you. I will eliminate you. Damn it. Weakling like you hope to accomplish. I will eliminate you. Your energy is mine. Weakling like you hope to accomplish. 
Special beam cannon! Damn it! I 
Wait, these aren't the androids I know. What's going on? If it's not them, who is everyone fighting? Uh, I refuse to believe that even Piccolo could have increased his power this much. I have made a grave miscalculation. I have no choice but to return to my lab. Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out. Which must mean we've changed the future. Hmm? Hey, guys! Now! None of you have any hope of winning! Androids 17 and 18 will make short work of the lot of you! What? Ah! Mother! Did he just say Trunks? That's my son's name. Wait, he's from the future. That means... Are you all right? Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? Yeah. I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? So, where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. <laughs> I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. It looks like the androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh, it's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, so history's a little different now. Wait, that creepy geezer was an android? Huh? That might have been the actual Dr. Jero. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean, my coming here years ago changed history this much? He mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us. Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman, and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. Uh. A female type? Oh, come on. Bulma, do you know where Dr. Giro's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. To think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army, that's crazy. That settles the matter, then. We'll find the location of Dr. Giro's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate androids 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate them. I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hand. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. We have no need for Kakarot. You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now, too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot. Don't stand in my way. Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. I can transform into a Super Saiyan too. Yet, I was no match for them. I'm going too. 
He's difficult to deal with. But I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, father? Uh, did he say father? What did he mean? Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not anymore. Kid's name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words... He's your son. Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? Uh, really? Uh, well, that explains it. That's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. I think it's probably best we destroy the android. You guys come with me. We're going to... Right. Yeah. Okay. Bulma. This is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on? And tell him to come help when he feels better? Well, I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan, head back and take her with you. Understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the androids. Okay, be careful. All right, let's go. Right. Die. It's close. What just happened? How dare you? I created you. You didn't create us. We had lives before you ruined them. Listen to me. You must eliminate Goku's allies. They're coming. That's an order. You hear that? It's an order, Seventeen. We're not going to follow a single one of your orders. We're just going to take care of ourselves now. Geezer. There's another one. What in the world is going on in there? Let's go. I feel a lot better now. Hey, what's that? Hey, I don't think I've seen you before, big guy. What's your number? 16. Android 16, huh? Interesting. So you're an earlier model. Android 16? I've never heard of an Android 16. Wait. So, so those are the androids that Dr. Giro was talking about? Trunks, can you confirm that these are the androids you originally warned us about? Y yeah, but uh, I've never seen that large one they called 16 before. What? At least, I haven't seen him in my time. So, what's going on here? <laughs> Who cares? Just one more hunk of scrap to add to the pile. Wait. Where's Dr. Giro? Oh, the old man? I took care of him. <laughs> All right, let's go. Get going? To where? I'm not crazy about doing what Dr. Giro wants, but as androids, I think we should do something. So let's go kill this Goku guy. Hey, 16. You were created specifically to kill Goku, right? Correct. Well, I guess that settles it, then. Where are they going? Don't tell me they're actually gonna try to find Goku. Well, that's what Dr. Jiro wanted, right? To kill Goku! I couldn't give a damn about that! How dare they! How dare they ignore the mighty Vegeta! Yeah? Well, well. I didn't expect to see you rejects roaming around in here. 
You're going to tell me where you're going right now, whether you want to or not. We're off to find Goku. We're gonna kill him. See, that's what I thought. Too bad that's not going to happen. Because I'm going to blow every one of you to pieces. You Saiyans sure are full of yourselves, aren't you? That pride of yours. It's just gonna get you killed faster, you know. You've got quite the mouth on you for a machine. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or maybe I should just scrap all three of you trash cans at once! Wait, that's right. We still haven't seen what you can do, Sixteen. Why don't you fight him? Negative. My prime directive is to eliminate only Goku. Wow. What a letdown. Fine. I'll do it then. Vegeta! Are you alright? <laughs> so you came. You're really starting to piss me off. Vegeta and 18 are about to fight. So back off. What? Still. Just watching isn't much fun. You know what that means. You and I won't be having any interruptions. <laughs> be warned. I don't plan on going easy on you just because you're a woman. Ha! Though I guess since you're an android, you're not really a woman. Got a gun!
Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. <coughs> Damn you, woman. Now you've done it. Oh. I think it's time we end this little game. You're about done, right? Don't worry. They're still alive. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours. So, should we get going? But... aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. Ugh. You can be such a child sometimes, Seventeen. You know that? You think so? Whatever. I'm fine as long as we can make a stop in town. My clothes are a mess. I think I'm going to need a new out. Sure, why not? Hey! Wait! Wait! Huh? What do you want? What is it that you guys are after? I mean, why are you doing this? Well, first, we're gonna take care of Goku. I mean, why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. I mean, Goku's the strongest guy around. Am I right? You probably won't just stop because I asked you to, right? Negative. We were created for the sole purpose of eliminating Goku. You heard the big guy. Yeah. But shouldn't you be helping your friends instead of talking to us? They're gonna... <laughs> See ya. Bye. I gotta help the others. So they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. <laughs> Don't go after him. Just leave him be. He'd finally become a Super Saiyan and regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. That's it, isn't it? No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win. Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house. Then move him to a different location immediately. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Uh, so, uh, right. <laughs> What's gotten into Piccolo all of a sudden? Uh, he went that way. Uh, okay, I think I get it. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. One final trick? What do you mean? So, you know what's in that direction, right? Huh? I'm not really sure. It's Kami's place. And? What does that have to do with anything? When I was back on planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. So, I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. But wait. If Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Uh... But if either of them die separately, well then the same thing's gonna happen anyway, so... Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy this powerful. But what about my fa- I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you think he's up to? Relax, there's no need to hide it anymore. I mean... We already know that you're Bulma's kid. All grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. What? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I'm sorry for hiding it from you. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. 
If things get hairy again, I'll be back. Gotcha. We're gonna get Goku and take him to Master Roshi's place, okay? Okay. Make sure you tell Goku not to overdo it. Right. Wilton. Uh, hello? Oh, I thought I heard someone. Krillin, is that you? I was hoping Gohan had come back. Trunks, let me introduce Goku's wife. This is Chi-Chi. Huh? Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Hey, Chi-Chi. Pleased to meet you. Krillin, you're all right. Oh, I was worried sick about you guys. Oh, Yamcha! How's Goku? Are there any changes? He's fine. He took his medicine. Now he's sleeping. So you're the guy from the future, huh? Oh, yeah. You're the one that beat the androids, right? <laughs> no. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. First, we need to move Goku to Master Roshi's place, and fast! What's going on? Two. Actually, three scary androids are on their way here, and they're after Goku! Oh, no, that's not good! All right, it's all packed up. Now we just wait for Gohan. There he is! Huh? What's everyone doing here? Did, did something happen? We'll tell you on the way. Just get in! Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Do you have any idea where Goku is? Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun this way, taking our time and hunting him down. Regardless, we should still have some kind of game plan. Hey, 16, what about you? You know something, right? Goku's house is located in the mountains in East District 439. So you did know something. You're just full of surprises. Did Dr. Affirmative. If we fly, we should arrive in a matter of minutes. I know, right? See, this guy gets it. Traveling on foot is a complete waste of time when you're capable of flying. You're such a whiner. It's gonna be more fun this way. <sighs> you know what? You can be a real pain in the neck, 17. We're just about at Master Roshi's place. Hey, Krillin. Yeah? We should probably let Bulma in on everything that's happening, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're right. So, what does that mean I have to call her? Uh, man. You know, your mom isn't exactly easy to talk to sometimes. <laughs> She's the same in my time, too. Uh, Bulma? It's, uh, it's Krillin. Krillin, you're all right? Why didn't you tell me before? Is my son, uh, my future son, there? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Why? What's up? Well, I heard from headquarters that we got a call a few days ago from someone out west in the countryside. They said they found a strange vehicle in the mountains that had Capsule Corporation written on the side of it. I got them to send me a photo, which I then tried to match with a database of our products to see who it might belong to. But it didn't match anything I could find. 
I thought Trunks might know something about it. It's covered in moss, and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. Wait, this is... Yeah, it's definitely the time machine I came here in. But how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsules. I thought this might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? Do you know the exact location of the time machine? Well, not the exact location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. You headed there? Yes. I'd like to see it for myself. Then I'm coming too. We can meet up near the machine's location. I'd like to help you look for it too. Is that okay? <gasps> of course. Thank you. Go on. Don't worry, Mom. We're not going anywhere dangerous. We'll be safe. Hi, Bulma! Hey, you're both here! So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. Check it out. This is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. It looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take a look inside. What? What's this? Ew! What is it? I... I'm not sure. What's it doing in the time machine? This is some sort of egg, isn't it? <sighs> What's going on? It's not just this egg that confuses me, though. Huh? I looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine left. What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time as you, right? Actually, it's from even further in the future. Three years after I left. Three years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here four years ago. Uh, uh. So that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. What's going on? Why did this thing come here? I thought the reason the two androids, Goku, and the others fought were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this... It's possible this thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. Uh. <gasps> What's what? Oh, it's just... I was wondering what that is. Ah, what on earth is it? It's some sort of exoskeleton. Gross. An exoskeleton? Is it from some sort of mutant bug or something? I bet. That's what was inside the egg we found in the time machine. Right. It probably grew too big for its skin and then and then shed it. But how did it end up in this time period? Either someone placed the egg in the time machine, or they came here carrying it. Uh, uh hey! You guys got a bad feeling about this too, right? Yeah. Then uh, we'd better hurry up and get out of here. You guys are gonna be at Kame House, right? I'll call you if something happens, okay? 
Right. Thanks. What? What's going on? Kami looked down in both amazement and fear as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton. Just as Kami had feared, a town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense... Bio-Android Fiend from the future.